What up, people? Zoween coming to you from my computer. Yeah, as per the video title, I thought I'd show you a couple of ways that you can set up your headphones and audio setup so that you can play games that have a lot of quiet moments followed by some very loud moments without potentially damaging hearing. It's been covered in a few other videos by some other people. I haven't really found one that's like all encompassing, so I thought I'd undo this and hopefully it's useful to, to some people. Uh, you can take bits of this and perhaps it's useful to your setup. If not, then... <laughs> well, whatever. Um, then it's always maybe just like a useful reference. So the way that we do this is I use VoiceMeter Banana uh, to control all of my audio setup. And the way that I've seen it done is that you set up another application, I can't remember what you call it, that allows you to use VST plugins. And with the VST plugins, like a three-way compression, you can set the high, the low, the, the attack and all that kind of stuff. And then all your audio then that comes into your desktop has compression set up on it. Um, two reasons that I don't like that. One is because you have to have another uh, another application running which can take up resources. Another thing is that you'd have to go to the system settings and then start... Which one would it be? I can't remember. You'd have to basically start fiddling around enabling the ASIO drivers um, just to try and get it so that it all hooks into this, which is fine. If you were doing a podcast, that would be great because then you've got the best quality of audio that you can get. However, for gaming, you want it to be as... Well, for me, anyway, I, I want it to be as simple and straightforward as it can be. And especially when you're playing games that are slightly competitive, you want as minimum delay of your audio reaching your ears. I'll lead into this assuming that you know how the voice meter banana works and you have a basic setup at the moment. My playback, my voice meter banana input, so my desktop audio, comes in through voice meter VIO, which is this one here, and my recording is set up through the aux output. So any input comes through the aux input, which is here. So for things like my Discord, I manually input my microphone from my headphones, and I use the aux output to listen to them through my headphones. So that's the aux channel here. And then I use B2, the aux output, as I've called it desktop, but in actual fact, it's the aux voice meter auxiliary channel, which is this one here. So any kind of desktop audio, I'll push out through here, and that's kind of game sounds. That'll be game sounds, and of course I want to hear game sounds. And my A1, which this is for, is my headphones. So I can prove that it works. I can hear that. You can hear that, I'm sure. I manually use an audio input channel for the mic. And as you can see here, that's the AT2020 that I use, Audio Technica. Very good mic. Um, and in here, I've installed the VST filters, and I use the gate, reefer, and rear comp on all of these on this microphone. And there's a very good video showing how to set these up. Actually, it doesn't show you compression, but it shows you the gate and the reefer. And that was uh, this video here by Proto Magical Girl. Very good video uh, explaining how to set it up. Um, you've just seen my settings, so if you want to copy mine, then feel free. But it's a uh, VST plugins are great, and this is the only way that I use them, and that's directly into OBS. But for hearing audio in the game, without it damaging your hearing, yeah, there's two ways of doing it. One of them is doing compression directly in Voice Meter Banana. Um, but to do that, because all desktop audio is com coming through here, what you'd have to do is you then need to reroute some of your audio channels through here. So for example, I don't want any compression on my desktop audio because I want to listen to, say I'm watching YouTube or listening to music. I want all of that audio to be normal. As you can see, there's no compression here. You'd have to use the third party to do that. So any specific game that you want to have compression on, you set it up to come through another channel. So I'm using the cable output as part of Voice Major Banana. I put that into my strip zero and I've just labeled it compressed disk, just to make it easy to see. And then to force your application to use this, so where before we've got where before we've got classical music coming in this channel, we go to settings, system. On the left hand side you've got sound, 
At the very bottom, you've got other sound options, app, volume, and device preferences. So in here, there we go. You can then set up the default output. And for example, the YouTube video that we're watching there, the classical music, we use the voice meter uh, virtual input, not A or B. That's why I use this one, because it's not A or B. You don't get confused. That's that one there. And that's it. That's it set. So now, when I'm playing, it will come through this channel. As you can see. I can now hear that. You can hear it. So then we can apply a compression onto it. And the value I usually use is about two and a half. That's kind of a sweet spot for me. Two and a half. The one thing I would say is because it's an all-in-one compression, it boosts the lows, it drops the highs, but it also increases the vo the volume. So in order to compensate for that, I usually have to set mine to minus 16. What that does is it keeps the, the actual volume in the headphones the same. Some people have said it's sort of cheating to do this. What I've found is minus 16 is actually slightly quieter than having no gain and playing at zero. Having it at two and a half compression, Footsteps and running around in something like PUBG is is actually a little bit quieter. If it was to be exactly the same, it's around about 14, but for me it's more comfortable at 16. It does make a huge difference when you've got something like the plane going over or in PUBG, or you've got a red zone. But when you're shooting at someone, you don't really need to hear what footsteps are happening around you. <laughs> well, you can't hear that anyway because it's just so loud, so it just takes some of the top off and just makes it a little bit easier to play play a game which has a lot of quiet followed by a lot of high noise. That's the, the first easiest way of doing it. You don't have the control that you would with VST plugins. However, it's very low latency. I think the delay between something actually happening and me hearing it, this is about, about a fifth to a third of a second, somewhere like that, of a delay. Which, not ideal, but to be honest, it's not that much of a problem. That's one way. The second way is to use triggers within that's built into Voice Meter Banana. And that's something that I haven't seen anyone else do as far as protecting your hearing playing games. What I've done is I've got two buses that are set up here. So this is my, my main audio channel. And the two buses are on a trigger. What I do is I've got the trigger enabled. This is strip zero, really but for some reason it's labelled here as 1. As soon as it gets up to minus 10 decibels, then it reduces my headphone volume by 4. So if I click that, you see that drops down 4. It will take some of the, the volume out of my headphones. And I've set, it, I've set it specifically around games like PUBG, where you'd have a very sharp, a very kind of sharp sound that would be something like a... I don't know, in the game, like a car 98 or an AK kind of thing. It's a loud spike, and what this does is it just catches it a little bit early and dips you down minus 4 decibels. And then what happens, I've got another trigger set up, an additional 12 below that 4. And again, strip 1. And it's listening for any audio that breaches minus 5.5 decibels. So it looks for 10 at the first trigger, and then if it goes further and goes to 5.5 decibels, it will then drop me 12 decibels further. So initially it will drop me minus 4 on a loud effect in the game, followed by another 12. So basically if somebody's shooting right next to me, it minus 16 on in my headphones to protect my hearing. And I don't know if I can get this to work with, with this, but we'll see if it actually triggers. Yeah, see? It's just breaching the minus 10 decibels, which is catching the minus 4. You don't have to worry about these. What this is doing is this is, if this is minus four, this is then plus fouring. So when I'm listening to my guys on Discord, that's the compensating on their <laughs> voices. So I can still hear them clearly. And this, this channel here, this is what I use for uh, music coming in using the VBAN. If I'm listening to music, then make sure that that audio level stays the same. So that's an example of it working. I do also have another one set up from a desktop, but I tend not to switch that on. This would be for other games that I'd be playing. Uh, and specifically, I would then enable that trigger. And that's on strip 4, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4. This is my desktop. Listen to anything on the desktop and then protect my hearing that way. 
But I typically, I don't use that because if I'm listening to something from the desktop, it's usually more kind of YouTube's or it's a, a normal kind of chilled out game. If it's a game that I'm playing that starts getting a bit loud, then what I'll do is I'll just literally use their things and I'll push it through into my strip zero here. On a side note, what I would recommend if you use voice meter banana with macros, um, it has an initial state. What I would recommend is you have one as a master, and this is my master. So if I go to notepad, you can see here, this is the settings for all of my uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, bus 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So if you set it up all in one, then all of my settings will be set up initially. And that's how I have it is when I'm streaming. A couple of other things. You can hard to set the volume of a channel. So for example, if I want to set that to minus 21, you can set that as a gain. So that'd be channel 0, 1, 2. And gain would be minus 21. And what you can do is you can do a fade to instead. So that would be the, the gain that you have and the milliseconds it would take to reach that. Uh, one other thing, the way this works, uh, if you put the minus sign before the equals, like this, what that's doing is it's taking the current setting and then it's minusing it by four. And if you do a minus before and then a minus value, that becomes a positive. So minus minus equals positive. For example, minus four, 24. If I change that to 21, see, it's all, it's all relative to the current volumes. And then if I get kind of screwed up and something goes wrong, I can just hit my reset and everything's reset back to the defaults. So just to summarize, setting up compression and adjusting it so that it's still the, the normal volume, but it just removes some of that crazy high explosive noise when people are shooting close to you. And also using the triggers so that when things do start getting very loud, it just takes the edge off or it will really mute it it will really mute it down in just my headphones just so that it can protect your hearing so hopefully that's useful that's it for me until the next time people oh wait a minute Oh, we know it, oh, we know it, oh, we know it, oh, we know it, oh, we know it.